Okay, so welcome back. Um, obviously, we did zigzag left, uh, first shape. What we can do now is we can do a um, simple straight line stitch. So you can you can go over your tacking if you want to. Keep it at the same neat pace, and we're going to sew. Remember to sew forward and sew back, and then we go over. Try and keep it at a similar distance all the way around. The shape. So straight line is easier than zigzag stitch, um, but it holds the fabric in place, but it doesn't prevent it from fraying like the zigzag stitch. But I would like you to have one letter that is sewn on the zigzag stitch and the other with straight line. Remember when you get to the corners to stop, leave the needle in, lift up the press foot. Lift up the press foot and spin it around in the direction you want to go in. This is a curve, so remember with the curves, like you did on your sewing machine test, is to go slowly around the shape, trying to stay either on your tacking line or at an equal distance from the outside shape. And then when you get to the end, remember to go forward, backwards, and forwards. So I can remove that. Here's my thread ripper. And then I can go and I can go from the middle and you go. have an O or a D you will need to do this Remember the spinning and then forward and back right all I need to do to my applique shapes now is to remove my tacking. Okay, so that's what I'm hoping for you to do. Thank you.